Calligraphy, Wikipedia article audio. Calligraphy is a visual art related to writing. It is the design and execution of lettering with a broad tip instrument, brush, or other writing instruments. 17 A contemporary calligraphic practice can be defined as the art of giving form to signs in an expressive, harmonious, and skillful manner. 18 Modern calligraphy ranges from functional inscriptions and designs to fine art pieces where the letters may or may not be readable. Classical calligraphy differs from typography and non classical hand lettering, though a calligrapher may practice both. Tools World Traditions Calligraphy continues flourishing in the forms of wedding invitations and event invitations, font design, and typography, original hand lettered logo design, religious art, announcements, graphic design, and commissioned calligraphic art, cut stone inscriptions, and memorial documents. It is also used for props and moving images for film and television, testimonials, birth and death certificates, maps, and other written works. The principal tools for a calligrapher are the pen and the brush. Calligraphy pens write with nibs that may be flat, round, or pointed. For some decorative purposes, multi-nibbed pens a euro steel brushes a euro can be used. However, works have also been created with felt tip and ballpoint pens, although these works do not employ angled lines. There are some styles of calligraphy, such as Gothic script, that require a stub nib pen. Writing ink is usually water based and is much less viscous than the oil based inks used in printing. High quality paper, which has good consistency of absorption, enables cleaner lines, although parchment or vellum is often used, as a knife can be used to erase imperfections and a light box is not needed to allow lines to pass through it. Normally, light boxes and templates are used to achieve straight lines without pencil markings detracting from the work. Ruled paper, either for a light box or direct use, is most often ruled every quarter or half inch although inch spaces are occasionally used. This is the case with Literia Unshields, and college-ruled paper often acts as a guideline well. Common calligraphy pens and brushes are Western calligraphy is recognizable by the use of the Latin script. The Latin alphabet appeared about 600 BC in Rome and by the 1st century developed into Roman imperial capitals carved on stones, rustic capitals painted on walls, and Roman cursive for daily use. In the 2nd and 3rd centuries the uncial lettering style developed. As writing withdrew to monasteries, uncial script was found more suitable for copying the Bible and other religious texts. It was the monasteries which preserved calligraphic traditions during the 4th and 5th centuries, when the Roman Empire fell and Europe entered the Dark Ages. Europe At the height of the empire, its power reached as far as Great Britain, when the empire fell, its literary influence remained. The semi uncial generated the Irish semi uncial the small Anglo-Saxon. Each region developed its own standards following the main monastery of the region, which are mostly cursive and hardly readable. Christian churches promoted the development of writing through the prolific copying of the Bible, particularly the New Testament and other sacred texts. Two distinct styles of writing known as uncial and half uncial developed from a variety of Roman book hands. The 7th to 9th centuries in Northern Europe were the heyday of Celtic illuminated manuscripts, such as the Book of Do, Lindisfarne Gospels, and the Book of Kells. History Charlemagne's devotion to improved scholarship resulted in the recruiting of a crowd of scribes, according to Alcuin, 
the Abbot of York. Alcuin developed the style known as the Caroline or Carolingian minuscule. The first manuscript in this hand was the God's Calc Evangelistory a Euro a gospel book written by the scribe God's Calc. Carolingian remains the one progenitor hand from which modern book type descends. In the 11th century, the Caroline evolved into the Gothic script, which was more compact and made it possible to fit more text on a page. 72 The Gothic calligraphy styles became dominant throughout Europe, and in 1454, when Johannes Gutenberg developed the first printing press in Mainz, Germany, he adopted the Gothic style, making it the first typeface. 141. In the 15th century, the rediscovery of old Carolingian texts encouraged the creation of the humanist minuscule or litera antiqua. The 17th century saw the Batarde script from France, and the 18th century saw the English script spread across Europe and world through their books. Style in the mid-1600s French officials, flooded with documents written in various hands and varied levels of skill, complained that many such documents were beyond their ability to decipher. The office of the financier thereupon restricted all legal documents to three hands, namely the coulee, the ronde, and a speed hand sometimes simply called the bastarda. Influences while there were many great French masters at the time, the most influential in proposing these hands was Louis Barbder, who published Les Écritures Financières et Italiennes Bastardes dans le Naturel circa 1650. East Asia With the destruction of the Camera Apostolica during the sack of Rome, the capital for writing masters moved to southern France. By 1600, the Italic cursiva began to be replaced by a technological refinement, the Italic chancery circumflessa, which in turn fathered the rond and later English round hand. In England, Ayres and Banson popularized the round hand while Snell is noted for his reaction to them, and warnings of restraint and proportionality. Still Edward Crocker began publishing his copy books 40 years before the aforementioned. History 2 Sacred Western calligraphy has some special features, such as the illumination of the first letter of each book or chapter in medieval times. A decorative carpet page may precede the literature, filled with ornate, geometrical depictions of bold-hued animals. The Lindisfarne Gospels are an early example. As with Chinese or Islamic calligraphy, Western calligraphic script employed the use of strict rules and shapes. Quality writing had a rhythm and regularity to the letters, with a geometrical order of the lines on the page. Each character had, and often still has, a precise stroke order. Unlike a typeface, Irregularity in the character's size, style, and colors increases aesthetic value, though the content may be illegible. Many of the themes and variations of today's contemporary Western calligraphy are found in the pages of the St. John's Bible. A particularly modern example is Timothy Bott's illustrated edition of the Bible, with 360 calligraphic images as well as a calligraphy typeface. Several other Western styles use the same tools and practices, but differ by character set and stylistic preferences. For Slavonic lettering, the history of the Slavonic and consequently Russian writing systems differs fundamentally from the one of the Latin language. It evolved from the 10th century to today. The Chinese name for calligraphy is Sha'af, the Japanese name Shota. The Korean is soy, and the Vietnamese is the degree fa p. The calligraphy of East Asian characters is an important and appreciated aspect of East Asian culture. 
technique. In ancient China, the oldest Chinese characters existing are Jig Wa copyright N characters carved on ox scapulae and tortoise plastrons because the dominators in Shang dynasty carved pits on such animals' bones and then baked them to gain auspice of military affairs, agricultural harvest, or even procreating and weather. During the divination ceremony, after the cracks were made, the characters were written with a brush on the shell or bone to be later carved. With the development of JANWA copyright N and DASWA N cursive signs continued. Moreover, each archaic kingdom of current China had its own set of characters. Styles In Imperial China, the graphs on old steel is a euro some dating from 200 BC, and in Xiaozun style a euro are still accessible. Quill, dip pen, ink brush, callum, fountain pen. About 220 BC, the Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first to conquer the entire Chinese basin, imposed several reforms, among them Li Sis character unification, which created a set of 3,300 standardized Xiazu Ni 1 4th A degree Ci 1 4th per thousand characters. Despite the fact that the main writing implement of the time was already the brush, Few papers survive from this period, and the main examples of this style are on steels. The La Sha I 1 4th A superscript 1 I 1 4th per thousand style which is more regularized, and in some ways similar to modern text, have been also authorized under Qin Shi Huangdi. Kish style A euro still in use today a euro and attributed to Wang Zizi and his followers is even more regularized. Its spread was encouraged by Emperor Ming Zong of later Tang, who ordered the printing of the classics using new wooden blocks in Kaishu. Printing technologies here allowed a shape stabilization. The Kaishu shape of characters 1000 years ago was mostly similar to that at the end of Imperial China. But small changes have been made for example in the shape of a superscript 1 which is not absolutely the same in the Kangxi Dictionary of 1716 as in modern books. The Kangxi and current shapes have tiny differences, while stroke order is still the same, according to old style. Influences 2 South Asia India Nepal Styles which did not survive include B.A. Fa Encha, a mix made of Xiaozun style at 80%, and Lishu at 20%. Some variant Chinese characters were unorthodox or locally used for centuries. They were generally understood but always rejected in official texts. Some of these unorthodox variants, in addition to some newly created characters, compose the simplified Chinese character set. Traditional East Asian writing uses the four treasures of the study, the ink brush is known as ma'ub to write Chinese characters, Chinese ink, paper, and ink's tone, known as the four friends of the study in Korea. In addition to these four tools, desk pads and paper weights are also used. The shape, size, stretch, and hair type of the ink brush, the color, color density and water density of the ink, as well as the paper's water absorption speed and surface texture are the main physical parameters influencing the final result. The calligrapher's technique also influences the result. The calligrapher's work is influenced by the quantity of ink and water he lets the brush take then by the pressure, inclination, and direction he gives to the brush, producing thinner or bolder strokes, and smooth or toothed borders. Eventually, the speed, accelerations, decelerations of the writer's moves, turns, and crochets, and the stroke order give the spirit to the characters, 
by greatly influencing their final shapes. Cursive styles such as Exangsha and Kosh are less constrained and faster, where more movements made by the writing implement are visible. These styles stroke orders vary more, sometimes creating radically different forms. They are descended from clerical script, in the same time as regular script, but Exangsha and Kosh were used for personal notes only, and never used as a standard. The Kosh style was highly appreciated in Emperor Wu of Han reign. Examples of modern printed styles are Song from the Song Dynasty S Printing Press, and Sans Serif. These are not considered traditional styles, and are normally not written. Japanese, Korean and Vietnamese calligraphies were greatly influenced by Chinese calligraphy. The Japanese and Korean people have also developed specific sensibilities and styles of calligraphy. For example, Japanese calligraphy go out of the set of CJK strokes to also include local alphabets such as hiragana and katakana, with specific problematics such as new curves and moves, and specific materials. In the case of Korean calligraphy, the Hang Yul and the existence of the circle required the creation of a new technique which usually confuses Chinese calligraphers. Temporary calligraphy is a practice of water-only calligraphy on the floor, which dries out within minutes. This practice is especially appreciated by the new generation of retired Chinese in public parks of China. These will often open studio shops in tourist towns offering traditional Chinese calligraphy to tourists. Other than writing the client's name, they also sell fine brushes as souvenirs and limestone carved stamps. Thailand Since late 1980s, a few Chinese artists have branched out traditional Chinese calligraphy to a new territory by mingling Chinese characters with English letters. Notable new forms of calligraphy are Su Bing S Square Calligraphy and Danny's Calligraphy or Calligraphy. Mongolian calligraphy is also influenced by Chinese calligraphy, from tools to style. Calligraphy has influenced ink and wash painting, which is accomplished using similar tools and techniques. Calligraphy has influenced most major art styles in East Asia, including ink and wash painting, a style of Chinese, Korean, Japanese painting and Vietnamese painting based entirely on calligraphy. Tibet Islamic World Persia On the subject of Indian calligraphy, writes Aaoka ascetics were committed to stone. These inscriptions are stiff and angular in form. Following the Aaoka style of Indic writing, Two new calligraphic types appear, Kuro superscript 1 pound A superscript 1A and Bra HMA. Kuro superscript 1 pound A superscript 1A was used in the northwestern regions of India from the 3rd century BC to the 4th century of the Christian era, and it was used in Central Asia until the 8th century. In many parts of ancient India, the inscriptions were carried out in smoke-treated palm leaves. This tradition dates back to over 2,000 years. Even after the Indian languages were put on paper in the 13th century, palm leaves were considered a preferred medium of writing owing to its longevity compared to paper. Both sides of the leaves were used for writing. Long rectangular strips were gathered on top of one another, Holes were drilled through all the leaves, and the book was held together by string. Books of this manufacture were common to Southeast Asia. The palm leaf was an excellent surface for pen writing, making possible the delicate lettering used in many of the scripts of Southern Asia. Burnt clay and copper were a favored material for Indic inscriptions. In the north of India, 
birch bark was used as a writing surface as early as the 2nd century AD. Ranjana script is the primary form of Nepalese calligraphy. The script itself, along with its derivatives are used in Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, La, Mongolia, coastal Japan, and Korea to write Om Mani Padmi Hum and other sacred Buddhist texts, mainly those derived from Sanskrit and Pali. Contemporary Scripts Sanskrit is the primary form of Thai calligraphy. Historically Thai calligraphy has been limited to sacred texts of the Pali Canon with few wider artistic applications where graphic calligraphy representing figures and objects is produced. Calligraphy appears on the personal flag of each member of the Thai royal family bearing its owner's initials in calligraphy. The most obvious place in the country where calligraphy is present is in graffiti. A few books have been published with calligraphic compositions. Calligraphy is central in Tibetan culture. The script is derived from Indic scripts. The nobles of Tibet, such as the high lamas and inhabitants of the Padala Palace, were usually capable calligraphers. Tibet has been a center of Buddhism for several centuries, and that religion places a great deal of significance on written word. This does not provide for a large body of secular pieces, although they do exist. Almost all high religious writing involved calligraphy, including letters sent by the Dalai Lama and other religious and secular authority. Calligraphy is particularly evident on their prayer wheels although this calligraphy was forged rather than scribed, much like Arab and Roman calligraphy is often found on buildings. Although originally done with a reed, Tibetan calligraphers now use chisel-tipped pens and markers as well. Islamic calligraphy has evolved alongside Islam and the Arabic language. As it is based on Arabic letters, some call it Arabic calligraphy. However the term Islamic calligraphy is a more appropriate term as it comprises all works of calligraphy by the Muslim calligraphers from Andalusia in modern Spain to China. Islamic calligraphy is associated with geometric Islamic art on the walls and ceilings of mosques as well as on the page. Contemporary artists in the Islamic world draw on the heritage of calligraphy to use calligraphic inscriptions or abstractions. Instead of recalling something related to the spoken word, calligraphy for Muslims is a visible expression of the highest art of all, the art of the spiritual world. Calligraphy has arguably become the most venerated form of Islamic art because it provides a link between the languages of the Muslims with the religion of Islam. The Quran has played an important role in the development and evolution of the Arabic language, and by extension, calligraphy in the Arabic alphabet. Proverbs and passages from the Quran are still sources for Islamic calligraphy. It is generally accepted that Islamic calligraphy excelled during the Ottoman era. Istanbul is an open exhibition hall for all kinds and varieties of calligraphy, from inscriptions in mosques to fountains, schools, houses, etc. The history of calligraphy in Persia dates back to the pre-Islam era. In Zoroastrianism beautiful and clear writings were always praised. It is believed that ancient Persian script was invented by about 600 Euro 500 BC to provide monument inscriptions for the Achaemenid kings. These scripts consisted of horizontal, vertical, and diagonal nail-shaped letters, which is why it is called script of nails slash cuneiform script in Persian. Centuries later, other scripts such as Pallavi and Avestan scripts were used in ancient Persia. The Nastaliq style is the most popular contemporary style among classical Persian calligraphy scripts, Persian calligraphers call it the Bride of Calligraphy Scripts. 
This calligraphy style has been based on such a strong structure that it has changed very little since. Mir Ali Tabriza had found the optimum composition of the letters and graphical rules so it has just been fine-tuned during the past seven centuries. It has very strict rules for graphical shape of the letters and for combination of the letters, words, and composition of the whole calligraphy piece. Mayan calligraphy was expressed via Mayan hieroglyphs. Modern Mayan calligraphy is mainly used on seals and monuments in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Mayan hieroglyphs are rarely used in government offices, however in Campeche, Yucatan and Quintana Roo, Mayan calligraphy is written in Latin letters. Some commercial companies in southern Mexico use Mayan hieroglyphs as symbols of their business. Some community associations and modern Mayan brotherhoods use Mayan hieroglyphs as symbols of their groups. Mayan Civilization Modern Calligraphy Most of the archaeological sites in Mexico such as Chichen Itza, Labna, Uxmal, Edzna, Calakmul, etc. have glyphs in their structures. Carved stone monuments known as steel are common sources of ancient Mayan calligraphy. After printing became ubiquitous from the 15th century, the production of illuminated manuscripts began to decline. However, the rise of printing did not mean the end of calligraphy. Revival The modern revival of calligraphy began at the end of the 19th century, influenced by the aesthetics and philosophy of William Morris and the arts and crafts movement. Edward Johnston is regarded as being the father of modern calligraphy. After studying published copies of manuscripts by architect William Harrison Cowley Shaw, he was introduced to William Lethaby in 1898, principal of the Central School of Arts and Crafts who advised him to study manuscripts at the British Museum. Subsequent Developments Notes This triggered Johnston's interest in the art of calligraphy with the use of a broad-edged pen. He began a teaching course in calligraphy at the Central School in Southampton Row, London from September 1899 where he influenced the typeface designer and sculptor Eric Gill. He was commissioned by Frank Pick to design a new typeface for London Underground, still used today. He has been credited for reviving the art of modern penmanship and lettering single-handedly through his books and teachings, his handbook on the subject, writing and illuminating and lettering was particularly influential on a generation of British typographers and calligraphers, including Grayley Hewitt, Stanley Morrison, Eric Gill, Alfred Fairbank, and Anna Simons. Johnston also devised the simply crafted round calligraphic handwriting style, written with a broad pen, known today as the foundational hand. Johnston initially taught his students an unsheel hand using a flat pen angle, but later taught his hand using a slanted pen angle. He first referred to this hand as foundational hand in his 1909 publication, Manuscript and Inscription Letters for Schools and Classes and for the Use of Craftsmen. Grayley Hewitt taught at the Central School of Arts and Crafts and published together with Johnston throughout the early part of the century. Hewitt was central to the revival of gilding in calligraphy, and his prolific output on type design also appeared between 1915 and 1943. He is attributed with the revival of gilding with gesso and gold leaf on vellum. Hewitt helped to found the Society of Scribes and Illuminators in 1921, probably the world's foremost calligraphy society. Hewitt is not without both critics and supporters in his rendering of Senino Senini's medieval gesso recipes. Donald Jackson, a British calligrapher, 
has sourced his gesso recipes from earlier centuries a number of which are not presently in English translation. Grayley Hewitt created the patent announcing the award to Prince Philip of the title of Duke of Edinburgh on November 19, 1947, the day before his marriage to Queen Elizabeth. Johnstone Euro trademark S. Pupil, Anna Simons, was instrumental in sparking off interest in calligraphy in Germany with her German translation of writing and illuminating, and lettering in 1910. Austrian Rudolf Lerisk, a teacher of lettering at the Vienna School of Art, published six lettering books that greatly influenced German-speaking calligraphers. Because German-speaking countries had not abandoned the Gothic hand in printing, Gothic also had a powerful effect on their styles. Rudolf Cook was a friend and younger contemporary of Lerisk. Cox books, type designs, and teaching made him one of the most influential calligraphers of the 20th century in Northern Europe and later in the U.S. Lerisk and Cook taught and inspired many European calligraphers, notably Carl George Hofer, and Hermann Zapf. Contemporary typefaces used by computers from word processors like Microsoft Word or Apple Pages to professional designers' software like Adobe InSign, owe a considerable debt to the past and to a small number of professional typeface designers today. Unicode provides script and fraktur Latin alphabets that can be used for calligraphy. See Mathematical Alphanumeric Symbols